Walt here from WaltNPA.com with something a little bit different. Generally when I post videos, they're one of three things. It's a competitive shooting video, a general firearms video, or a cigar review. Uh, this time around I want to talk a little bit about gardening. Uh, it's a hobby that I'm trying to get into at the moment. Uh, something that uh, my whole family is getting into. Actually my, me and my wife and hopefully our two and a half year old daughter can get, our, get her hands dirty as well. But uh, over the last couple of months, my wife and I have been talking about uh, about trying our hand at growing our own, our own vegetables. One of the things that we've noticed is that trying to, to to eat healthy, buy you know fresh vegetables at the grocery store and farmers markets and things like that, is getting uh, more and more expensive as time goes on, and it's we tend to fall into bad habits of buying prepackaged food and processed food and things like that because you know, they are so much cheaper than buying fresh fresh vegetables and the idea here was to grow our own vegetables in our own garden and uh, you know sort of cut the costs of of buying fresh vegetables and growing them ourselves so neither my wife and I have any experience gardening we we really don't know what we're doing so we've been watching YouTube videos uh, doing a little bit of reading I, I just ordered uh, square foot gardening by Mel I forget his last name I, but I just ordered the book last night I've been watching uh, a handful of YouTube videos on the subject and we've decided on doing some square foot gardening and using raised bed planters and so our situation is kind of unique. We are on a glorified mountain. It, it's, a, it's a giant hill, but uh, it's just, it leaves us with a lot of yard space that is kind of like this. So what we decided to do was terrace into the hill right in front of our front porch that kind of run, runs uh, parallel with it. And we were going to just just insert this big planter box along the way. I'm planning on about 24 feet long by about two and a half feet deep. It, the, you know, the two and a half feet doesn't really work with, uh, with square foot gardening. However, it was, I didn't want to go two feet because it was too shallow and I didn't want to go three feet because I would have had to get too tall in the back. So I settled on two and a half feet. I'll make it work. We'll figure something out. And I spent all day yesterday um, my wife and I spent all day yesterday digging this 25 foot long trench and I'm feeling every inch of that trench today. I'm just really worn out and tired. I I would have considered making the box much smaller if I had known how much rock was in the ground. Uh, I was just swinging a mattock all day, busting up dirt, you know, loosening rocks. And finally, the trench is done. This morning I'm going to build our planter boxes. I'm going to get them leveled and installed. And I have a, a truckload, or at least one backhoe scoop of topsoil down in the back of a truck. I'm going to hump it up the mountain, dump it into the boxes, and then I've got to go to the home improvement store to pick up some other stuff. Uh, probably maybe some vermiculite and some compost so that I can mix it with the topsoil and and get uh, you know more rich soil to start planting in. So the objective today is to get the planter boxes built, uh, get everything ready to go. I'll start getting dirt up the hill. I don't know if I'll finish today, but uh, that's that's the agenda to get that done by the end of the week, so that I can return this borrowed truck. Uh, I'm also going to be putting in a rain barrel, a 55 ba 55 gallon barrel, right near where the planter boxes are going, and. Who knows, if everything works out really well and we get uh, a good yield and just, uh, you know, it's not uh, more trouble than it's worth, I'll probably expand next year. Uh, I've already got plans on putting some other planter boxes around the house because uh, they work really well for decoration and we've got a lot of space where we could tuck things in, especially if we dig them in, uh, you know, it just works out really well with, with, with doing that and not taking up usable usable space would be we'd be taking space that it would otherwise go unused and and you know making use of it it's starting to sound like a broken record but uh that's the agenda so let's go build some planter boxes and let's hope we don't wake up our neighbors because it's about 8 8 30 in the morning and uh i've got some sawing to do So way off in the distance, you can see that red truck. This is my mountain of a stairway. My very hilly side yard. 
and this is my 25 foot trench and uh, this is a lot of what was pulled out of there some sawdust from my power miter box tossed in this morning but I've got a lot I had a lot of digging out of me and uh, we're gonna fill that up with planter boxes today this morning 24 feet worth two and a half feet deep it's a pretty big trench I gotta get pretty far away to get it focused or to get it all in the shot so let's get to work Alright, the first of three is in. I've got it leveled out. Basic 2x6 construction. One 2x6x8 for the front. Three straps. Cut the 30 inches. And two 2x6s two in the back. It's just fastened by a vertical piece of 2x4 in three locations. And then I'll, I'll level out that back so it's a smoother transition after I'm all finished and everything is packed in with dirt and, and pretty much set in place. One down, two to go. Alright, well we're making some progress here. I've got two boxes in and I am absolutely exhausted carrying the topsoil up the mountain two five gallon buckets at a time is a lot of work actually the, the the building of the boxes is the least labor intensive part and I'm actually using it as a, a break sort of to get away from lugging that dirt up the hill uh, I started filling in two boxes and uh, the reason I did that was really poor planning uh, I didn't realize it but the there's a natural slope away from the house and it's kind of it, it, the high spot is here and it runs away or runs off and I didn't take that into account I just stuck four sticks in the ground so that I knew where to dig my trench and really didn't pay much attention I just kept digging the same depth and kind of flattened it out as I went so I, I followed the slope digging it down so we started off not too bad eight feet down I had to, to uh, to sort of shim up the corner to, to level out the box. And I used a makeshift rock wall to do that. By the time I got the second box in, it was really bad. And I had to do a lot of filling. I ended up using a couple of bricks that I had from when, uh, when I had my portrait done. And I fully expect to have to shim the last box when I get it built. Fortunately, uh, this end was something that I did at the end of the day and I was feeling really tired and I got kind of lazy. I really didn't dig too deep over here. Uh, the idea was to simply finish it up when I went to level the box and it looks like it may have actually saved me some work. So one more box to build. Uh, I wound up adding uh, a cap around the top and uh, the reason being is because someone such a hill and I didn't think you would get uh, tied up against the box all the way down so the cap is just kind of something to, to brace yourself on uh, put a knee on sit on and reach inside uh, and I'm gonna do that all the way around the the middle straps are something that were an afterthought I really didn't think I would necessarily need them and when I started building the boxes there was a lot of flexing in the, in the eight foot span of the two by six and I figured that even after I got the cap on, it was still going to do that. Once I got uh, dirt inside, I had a feeling that it was going to start start bowing out. So I put the straps in. I didn't account for putting cap on it, although I want to. So I may need to run over to the hardware store and pick up some more material. One, one two by four should do it. And uh, you know we're making progress. A lot of hard work. I don't know that I'm going to get these boxes filled today, but I think I've got. Um, seven five gallon buckets in this one and nine in this one I think um, the the other boxes shouldn't need as much because I uh, again because I lifted the I had to raise the box so much to make sure that it was level I had a lot of backfilling to do and I did it with topsoil rather than 
a lot of dirt and rock that I've and clay that I've got up here. So we're making progress. Now I'm gonna have to go back in and and you know create a little little hill up against the box, slope it away, and throw a whole bunch of grass seed against it, and hope that I can get something to grow so that it doesn't look so bad. But there's your progress report. I got another box to build and a lot more topsoil to haul. Well, it's about 6.30 and I'm wiped out. Made a really quick design change. Uh, because of how much leveling I had to do, I ended up putting two more 2x6s across the face and then uh, kind of burying them just to fill the the giant gaping hole that I had at the end. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. And then down at this end, rounded the corner. And then went back so far. We'll backfill the other with dirt. So I've got topsoil in two. Just wasn't feeling up to digging out more dirt. And uh, as per suggestion of my wife, Put a cap on the back, which I didn't have enough to complete. I'll have to go pick up two more 2x4s to finish the run. Since it got kind of beefy looking with the, the material added to the face, I wanted to put the cap on the back. I think it only made sense since there were no other, you know, inch and a half surfaces showing, you know, with the exception of these pieces down here. So, I don't know, 80% done. Now, Two more pieces of cap and lots and lots of dirt.